Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, also known as ETCG1, when I post videos to this channel, the ETCG1 channel. And here on the ETCG1 channel, we start things off with, hey, if it is your birthday and you've been waiting a long time for this, I want to wish you a very special happy birthday because you had patience. Happy birthday. Here's a cake. For today's topic, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I recently spent some of my time to try to save time in the future, so I guess this video is really about time and saving time. And that is staying organized. Now, recently I went to uh, the local big box store and picked up like one of these large folders. I used to have like a large manila folder and I just threw everything into it. In fact, this is the old version here. So this is the old uh, Fairmont folder, but I recently switched to one of these guys. And why do I have this and what do I have in it? Well, what I have in here, organized now by category, is all the different instructions, all the different specs, all the different stuff for all the parts that I installed on the Fairmont. So I've got a section here for miscellaneous, like right down on the front. Uh, I've got cooling system, I've got suspension and brakes, I've got electrical, I've got uh, transmission, and finally engine. Contained in this file, or these files I should say, are all the like parts that I got. So if I ever have an issue and I need to go find a torque spec, or maybe there's a warranty issue and I need to find out, well, how long the warranty is, uh, something along those lines, then I can very easily come in here and find it. As opposed to before, where what I would do is go digging through that manila folder and, and hope that I would find it. At least now, it's all sorted out by category and much easier to find. And like I said, it just flips like this. Oh, watch Eric close a folder. Now because of that, I decided to get the jump on the truck. So this is uh, the folder that I'm creating for the truck and the parts that I'm installing with it. And I have it organized in a similar fashion. Now there's still some, some other stuff that I need to uh, get in here, like as far as categories go, but they'll, that will happen as those uh, things become available. This is how I'm staying organized with the paperwork for the car that I just built. And I know a lot of people, even with a car that they're not building, uh, I've gone through many a glove box and found like stacks of service history, that type of thing. So I guess what this video is about is sort of a question to you. This is how I'm staying organized with uh, all the materials for the truck and the Fairmont and other vehicles going forward. Uh, how do you stay organized? Do you, do you keep all your service records and things like that in a file? Uh, and if so, is it something like this? Or do you have perhaps a better method? And is that working out for you? Or do you not keep track of it at all? It ends up under the, the seat somewhere. <laughs> and who knows what happens to it from there. So that's what comments are for. Hey, if you have automotive questions not covered in this video, because I didn't answer a single one, not one, I ask you head to ericthecarguy.com. That will be linked in the description along with additional information and videos and fun stuff for you to check out. So please check the description. There might be something there of interest to you. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do the things that help make a living. I want to keep doing this, so I appreciate your help on that. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I will be back next Monday with another ETCG1 video, and maybe it'll be your birthday then. See you then.